Hey guys, Sunloxy here, back with our semi-blind playthrough of Morrowind. Last time, wandered around Saran a bit more. There's actually several quests. I didn't expect there to be really any, but we found a quote-unquote escaped slave. Uh, and then we found another dude that wants to find an escaped slave. This dude is following us around. They blink. How did I not notice this before? I mean, I guess it makes sense. I probably have noticed it, and I just forgot. Um, but yeah, supposedly he's an, escape, he's an escaped slave. I don't buy it. He's trying to get us to lead him to, presumably, the abolitionist in the area. Why do you just have food hanging out? <clears throat> um, look at that cod piece. That's <laughs> uh, meanwhile, we're also trying to find There's someone watching me. A uh. An escaped slave. I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Okay, tell me about this dude. Bounty hunter, I've heard of him. I've also already been wandering around the woods looking for the same slave for the past few months. Pathetic. Haven't heard of him. An escaped slave, you say? Not from my shipment. And I don't have a lot of time to worry about the ones that aren't mine. It gets tough to track down the Argonian slaves. They're clever and fast, and other Argonians aren't likely to help. Huh. That makes it tough because few others understand their language or habits. <laughs> Journal's been updated. So the... Hides his eyes then. Is he... I'm not sure what information you're looking for, stranger. I heard Orvis Den is really cracking down to escape slaves. He's hired bounty hunters to track down any who would help them. wonder if this Argonian is a bounty hunter. Well, let's see if we could persuade him a little bit. Uh, do we want one more? No. I mean, we do, but... Damn it. Ah, uh, it's frustrating. Well, let's try that. Let's see, don't know him. Argonian, right? Sounds like an Argonian name. Not his real name, of course, but that's the way of things. Interesting. Well, of course, it's just a translation from the Argonian. That would translate to something like Hajikius, Hajikius, maybe Haje. Funny. Literal translations can get a little awkward sometimes. Most folks don't bother to learn language of these savages. They find it too hard to pronounce. For me, though, it makes business a little bit easier. I'm not surprised when he's like, oh, yeah, he's he's taking me all around the place looking for the escaped slave. I'm just like, in my brain, I'm like, oh, I bet he's taking him on a wild goose chase. Yes, that's one of the names I mentioned. Could just be a coincidence, I suppose. All right, well. When I asked him more about the Argonian language, Dronus told me hides his eyes actually translate to Haje. That seems to be more than a simple coincidence. So what do I do here? Uh, let's see. Jot something in my memory. The way their names are translated. Derek Beale would never put it together through his alcohol-soaked brain. Hides his eyes translates very nearly to Haje in the Argonian language. Remember reading about interesting Argonian naming conventions at some point in my studies. Hmm. Well, presumably... Presumably I have two choices here. Go back to this dude, Haje, and be like, Yo, I know you're... you're the escaped slave. Um... He's a trainer, though. <laughs> right. Dude trains in, or trades, trades in Argonians. Well.
Where is this? Um, you know, I wonder if it's even in Saran. They're supposed to be nearby, but where else would they be? Have I checked every place? Pawnbroker. Guard tower. Make me laugh if they're... Oh, there's the egg mine. I assume this got revealed because... When I was wandering around, it wasn't filling the map. It was filling in some other area of the map somewhere else. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I can't even ask for like, hey, dude, where's the red guards? How many red guards are in town here? Who do you know of? I mean, we could try going to the guard tower, I suppose. Because they said, oh, red guards, look for us wherever there's battle. Hey, you find me. Well, we have doors. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. What is it, Mr. Manny Cat? Pache. There's something not right about him. It makes sense. Oh. Caravan, a friend of mine, says with so many more blight storms around Red Mountain this year, he's thinking about getting out of the business. We've gotten this before, but we've never gotten this key word. More blight storms, right? Okay. It just he just repeats the line. Troubles for House Lalu. Yeah. Anyway. So Manny is like right down here. I'm trying to, I don't want to like shift around. All right. Yay. <laughs> if I find someone that could do acrobatics, I will be like, yo, train me. Um. It's. Okay, so near here. It doesn't mean near... It doesn't necessarily mean Saran. The fact this dude's following me around, I, I just want a hint. You know, I'm probably, if I can't... You know what? Let's go talk to the Silt Strider, dude. I walk when you can ride. Okay. Uh Then <laughs> Oh, here we go. Shrine of Molag Ball, interior is cursed. Uh go view the ruins from in or outside. Yeah, but where where is it though? That click, by the way, was my thumb, if you were wondering. <sighs> okay, the priest. Or shy as the publican. And see, I'm trying to figure out what the Red Guard names are. They're usually single names, right? 
Bana Uls, Orvis Dren, Ravon Arvel, Dryra Arano. Right, so those are all Dunmer names. Dur yeah, Dunmer. Garak Gro Bagrat is Orc. Okay. Shrine of Molag Ball is north of town. There you go. Did I miss that before? Where it says it's north of town? I can't see it from here, but uh Yeah, who knows? This is kind of nice, being able to see over the city. I wonder if the far look mods, or, you know, if they increase, like, fog or something, you know? Make the fog thicker so it's harder to see. And not that I don't want to see, but red light, of course. That way it's... Because Morrowind is supposed to be foggy, my... My understanding. Impressive. These clothes suit you well. Mmm, thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, I I'm I'm lost. I assume it's in Saran. We haven't been to the temple though, so And then what do we want to do about the the dude? The escaped slave. Uh where was he? He was... Okay, he... Uh, the trade house, right? My... My thought is... Tournament. You know? See, you're the only red guard. So where are you from? Perhaps he is nearby. Okay, well, yeah, perhaps he is nearby. So you you mentioned a he. Yes, Outlander. Okay, hides his eyes. It also makes sense, hides his eyes. Let's save here. Loxley 150. Um... Hmm... Hides his eyes is Haje. Well, let's ask about Haje first. I want. Okay, here. Here's my thought. Oh, first training. What what training do you offer? Athletics, medium armor, block. I don't really need any of these. Athletics, we're just gonna get running around. Medium armor and block, same thing. And those are both. All of them are leveling, and so I'm not super interested. So if he goes away, I don't. I don't care so much. Uh, the escaped slave. Uh, you found my secret, did you? I'll not try to hide it from you. I'm the one the bounty hunter seeks. What of it? He would take me back to the slavers. That is not for me. So I dragged him around the wilderness for a while. What of it? Does he not deserve it? The drunken fool. And he paid me well. So you know my secret. What will you do with it? You will not tell, will you? I am honor bound to tell Beal what I have learned. It's supposed to be safe, not save, but it's cool. I wanna I wanna see what the response to this one is. Because presumably I, I mean I, I don't know what happens, right? But what if I say this? Are you coming up here, Manny? Oh my goodness, you are so crazy. You're my crazy, crazy kitty. You were just here. You were just here, mister. Oh my gosh. I know you want to cuddle, I could tell. I could tell. Hmm, excuse me. Really, I just wanted to see what he what training he offers. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Um What 
Listen, I love you. Do you not want to be in my lap? Here, let's tr let's try this. Okay. Die. Oh, you tell that fool I will not go back. I will never go back. That's partially what I expected. I partially expected he'd attack us, right? Oh, you are crazy. Be be safe though. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. 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 Well, here here okay. Journal's been updated. Die. Pulled out a weapon. Confronted hides his eyes. Uh, he made no attempt to deny the fact. Seemed proud to have actually gotten Beale to pay him as a guy for the last few weeks. Asked me not to tell Beale. I'm honored about to tell Beale his secret. He said he'd rather die than be forced back into slavery. I mean, it's understandable. Oh, interesting. What are you... What are you... What are you casting on him? We'll just load, we'll just go tell the dude. And then we'll see what he wants. Yes, Outlander? Is, if Beale's like, I don't know, sounds like a far-fetched thing to me. Then, then I don't know. Wait, hang on. Was there? Zaka's free. What do you want? You're not long ago. Where's that slave? Well, I'm listening. Have. So go ahead. Okay, we're heading for the red Is light district. We have been to the clothier, I think. Right? Have we not? Mm, maybe not. Uh, let's see. 300. Yep. Mm, okay, well. I didn't see anything about a red guard or a kindly red guard, so, so I was just like, eh, whatever. Moving scum. Also, I don't know what... What spell he was casting? It wasn't... I don't know, it might have been a drain. The fact you're casting spells at all... ...is like, uh... Ah, hello. Did you want something? Well, let's see what happens when we say this. Well, don't that beat all. How about that? Maybe you've been spending a little time in the bottle as well, huh, friend? Psh, okay, okay, here's your reward. Wasn't much anyway. Plus, I've got good credit at this place. Barkeep, another one over here. That's all? And I bet if you... I wonder what happens if you... confront hides his eyes, be like, no, I'm gonna turn you in, kill him, then come back and tell him. I've told Derek Beale about Heise's eyes being the very slave. In his drunken stupor, I don't even know that he understood my explanation, but he thanked me for my help and gave me the reward money I was promised. Well. Let's, uh... Let's go talk to Heise's eyes if he's still there. You made for all I know, he might be like, You turned me in, you bastard! There's no time for talk now. Go. I wonder what the deal... Like, is he just gonna follow me around this whole freaking time? You know, part of me wants to look up the, the thing. Part of me is like, I should just kill him and see what the journal says. What's your story? What is this regarding you? Yes. Okay, he's still here.
Do I save? Do I save over it? Sure. Commit to the the quest, right? That's 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 the thing. That's why I haven't been saving a whole lot because I want to. You know, it's I don't want to. I don't like save scumming. I used to save scum all the time, and I'm just like, save scumming. By the way, if you haven't heard about it, is is basically you you save and then you try something, and if it doesn't work out, you reload and then you try it again, and you know. It's named after the Scum Engine, which is Maniac Mansion, or or these old like Lucas Arts games, because you had to back in the day, because like the old Sierra Adventures style, Lucas Arts kind of came up with their own things that were supposed to be better, because the Sierra ones would they were hostile to players deliberately, so, and the Lucas Arts were like, that's not fun. We want to tell a story. As well as be, you know, have some, have a puzzle-ish game that's, that's fun and challenging, but not deliberately hostile or, or whatever. So, yeah, the Maniac, the Scum Engine was the, what they used to make Maniac Mansion. And, uh, it allowed saving basically at any point, I think. If I'm remembering right. And so people would, they called it save scumming because you, you... Let me try, like, every time you would do something, you'd create another save. So that way, if you lost, if you screwed yourself or you lost progress, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't lose too much. You could just go back. There were still some game-ending issues, but then you'd be able to go back until you had that item or whatever, you know? So let's just save over this. That's fine. And then we'll see what he says. Kill. You told that idiot my secret. Fetch her. I will never go back. Suffer. Well. Iron saber, common pants, common shirt. Hmm. So now the question is, what happens if we go back to I want to go back to um what's his name? Oh, did I lose Tull? Ah, oh, crap. Leave me. Oh, is he glitched out now? Is he gone because I got too far away? Keep moving, scum. We welcome you freely, Captain. I figured. Well, that's not good. So good to see you. Okay, well, first, uh, huh, maybe, my thought is maybe he'll show up again, or maybe he'll show up over there where we saw him last. Or maybe he's just gone. My thought is, if you get too far away from, he just, whenever you go in somewhere, he just teleports to your location. That turns out to not be the case. He's probably, he's probably gone. All right. I'm listening. Okay. Sure he is. Knew it all along. You need another drink. Okay, so he's basically... He does kind of deserve it, what but... What is this regarding Nord? Oh, another Gwarskin drum. And a loot. I remember finding one of those when I was doing my original playthrough and I was literally trying to explore every single cave like I didn't want to proceed until I you know don't go to Balmora until you explore every cave along the way from Sedanine to Balmora um 
but I, I could have sworn there was a loot in one of those things. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, I'm burping a ton. It's probably the lunch. We're gonna go back this way. We're gonna see if the dude reset, if his position reset or whatever. And if not, if he is just gone, then I'll have to reload. What is attacking us? Okay, that's not him. And he was he was around here, right? Three blessings, Sarah. Thank you. That's not you, is it? No. Wait, what is that? Morning Star steals away clouds. You seek information more? What is attacking us? Did we get too far away from Tull and now he's like hostile or something? I suspect it's whatever was under the bridge, a rat or something. Oh, is it the- well, I see a fish right- no, that's not a fish, that's a plant. Um... I don't know why- yeah, okay. Okay, well... Cult. Tull's escape. Umbra. Umbra. I remember that being like one of the legendary weapons in Oblivion. Madman on Hill, that means we gotta find it. Okay. Well, Tull's escape. That's not super helpful. Uh, yeah, I have to load because I don't know what happened at all. That is disappointing. Should I, uh... Should I tell him? Yeah, it's fine. Such Friend. fine company, one would be wise to listen. Oh wait, hello, you have more information. Nerys Ethra says she ran into a rogue Telvani base out in the middle of the Ashlands. Unfortunately, when she used her Alm Sevi intervention to escape, failed to note her position. All she could say is she was somewhere in the Ashlands between Oida Mamiya in the west, Boyata Ashardan on the east, north of Lake Nabia, that covers a lot of empty territory. Alright, well. Die. Oh yeah, he doesn't like me. Lost like 50. Die. <laughs> Hides his eyes. Makes sense with the name like that. I'm listening. Go okay. Ahead. Shall we continue to travel together? Uh, I must get to freedom. Yeah, let's get moving. Got to get to that place. Please hurry. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Okay. S should I? <laughs> I don't want this dude to follow me around forever, and I don't want to lose him. So... Should I look up? I haven't found a red guard in Saran. Man, friendly red guard. That's not okay. Let's. All right, I'm gonna look it up. 
kind of annoyed with myself for doing so. What the hell is this? We're gonna Google Morrowind Tull's escape. <laughs> because presumably I could just tell him, be like, yeah, wait here, and then keep running around, but I don't I'd like to Tull Tull's escape. Uh okay. Beg you to lead him to a nearby Red Guard farmer who helps slaves escape. Let's click on the UESP. That's the first thing. Okay. Help an escaped slave, in quotes. Find safe haven, in quotes. Okay. Lead him to Sterdekin's farm. Defend Sterdekin from Tull and receive a reward. That's what I expected. Sterdekin's farm is where... Uh, simple farm east on the fields of Komu on the eastern shore. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm not... Is, can we see it on the map? Is there a view on map? There is a view on map. Oh my god, okay. Oh, we can zoom... Oh wow, this looks like... It's very strange, it looks like Google Maps, except it's... Oh, that's cool. Oh, so it's just uh, northeast. That's awesome. Look at this. Look at that. That's awesome. Northwest, not northeast. Northeast is the opposite way. Okay, cool. I. I <sighs> it's funny because I'm. I'll be like, oh yeah, I was, I was thinking that. And I've actually, I've mentioned that in the videos in the past and people have been like, you weren't thinking that. It's like, okay. My, my thought was, well, if it's not in Saran, it's maybe somewhere around here, which I think is why I kind of ran back this way before we lost Tull. Um, but, but yeah. And the escaped slave. Not not a huge shock, right? That he's not actually an escaped slave. Mm, excuse me. Because if you were an actual escaped slave, I mean... You wouldn't... You wouldn't be advertising it, right? I mean, that's kind of the thing, because there's Argonians all over the place. It's not like in the north, uh, during the Civil War, or before this, yeah, during the Civil War, before the Civil War, whatever, or after even, especially after, right? Where there was the, uh, slave patrol. Because people thought about the, the north as like, oh, it's where the slaves were freed and all this stuff. It's like, then why did they have to go to Canada? Right? If you look at the Underground Railroad, it was to get the escaped slaves to go to Canada, not to the North. The North would actually capture them and hand them, you know, send them back to the South, right? Because the North was not the good guys they proclaimed themselves to be. Especially when it's like politics. You know, it's the whole think of the children thing, but they don't really care about the children, basically, yeah. Alright, let's see if we get a what is... what? Wait. Wait. Is that where Tull went? Wait. Okay. Um, was it gonna die? Well, how do I get out of here now? Oh, there's a dock. And I would assume Argonians, they have water breathing, I think, right? Or, or what? Interesting, they swim using their tails. Is that, uh... Is 
Is that how it's supposed to go? Oh, what are we getting attacked by now? What was that? What is this? Again, you're you're casting. <coughs> Sorry, Manny, you're okay. I guess we'll go here because that looks like I can get to land, or maybe we could. Well, hmm. Okay, where's Tull? There he is. Um, hmm. Crap. Nope, you're gonna get... Okay. Maybe we... Maybe we can't go this way. Can we go over here? No. Damn it. Maybe we could go over there. Oh gods, are you stuck? No, okay, you're fine, good. Where's, uh, let me get my thing of stamina, right? Excellent. Let's try that again without the swimming rat. It's very strange. Not enough charge, eh? That's cool. You know, I wonder about... I wonder if there's a game out there, and if there is, leave a comment or whatever, tell me if you know, um, about... I, I was thinking about this, it's, maybe it's stupid, but... Because a lot of the time I'll look... And I'll be like, okay, what's the reward for this quest? You know what I mean? So I'm more, I'm interested in games that... Um, because you get sucked into the game aspect of it, or the, uh, the rewards, not necessarily the role-playing aspect. Which is kind of why I like, um, you know, systems like Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, where they just, just finishing the quest gives you experience. Doesn't matter how you finish it, it's just finishing it. And they're like, alright, here you go. You know, and, and so it encourages you to do basically whatever you want. It's, you know, it separates intrinsic versus extrinsic rewards, right? Internal rewards is you doing the story or playing the game a different way because it comes from within. Extrinsic or external external rewards. Master was right to discipline us. We are foolish. You are a foolish man. Mare. You're a foolish mare. Um But that way you you separate the internal and, and inter, uh, internal and external rewards and oh we got uh, whatever that thing is. Kagudi. And um Did I go too far, or am I not far enough? Oh, it's probably here. Is that him? Well, we'll know in a minute. Let me save before we get close. Um, but I, I would just want to know if there's more... Wait, hang on. Okay, I think we're... Yeah, I think this is the same one. 
Um, oh, I never did go back. It doesn't matter because he doesn't respond. He's just like, oh, you're so silly. Like, I don't think he believes us or understands. But dude's dead anyway, so it's fine. Um, no, but if there's... Like, that's kind of my, my issue with Wildermyth, which I love, but you get choices, and there's what your characters would actually do, what you want them to do as a as a, a player, because you're like, well, this choice could lead to this, or it could lead to, to this, and you're kind of reasoning it out. But since I've been playing through lately, and I've, you know, uh, lately, just because of you know, I've got over 100 hours in it. I've gotten to the point where I'm like, all right, what are the rewards for this? You know, because a lot of the time it'll bring you to a transformation or it'll give you an item or maybe it'll give you resources. And I'm like, well, I want specific things, you know? And so rather than doing what the gameplay says, or whether, rather than doing what the story says, I go more for the rewards. I'm just wondering, like, is there... Here, it's kind of the same thing, but... It's not as bad, because there's just so much gear and loot and stuff. But I, I want to know, is there something... You know, is... Because if you were to do something like uh, just a reputation system, for example... You know, you do you do the slave missions as opposed to the abolition missions. Um, so I said, "Where's the money in that?" <laughs> uh, but if there's no rewards, if the reward is the story, then that's I I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what the what games do you guys know of that are. that are able to separate the intrinsic and extrinsic rewards. I guess that's that's what I'd want to know. All right, sub dude. Oh, well, here are journey ends in order for bringing me to this place. I thank you. It has been a thorn in the side of the Kamana Tongue for too long, too long. Be on your way, Outlander, or with this Red Guard, you will die. That is the choice I give you. The only choice, go now and forget about all this or die where you stand. It matters not to me. I cannot let you kill this man. As you wish, the hand of the Kamana Tong will speed you to your final rest. Die, I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay, so what is this? Absorb health. Oh, interesting. Your journal has been updated. Tull. Interesting. So he does have slave bracers on him. That's strange. A left and a right. Doesn't make a lot of sense, though. What's your story? Tull is dead. The bounty hunter took me for a fool, and he has paid the price. We've arrived at Steradekin's farm. My suspicions about Tull were not unfounded. He is no slave, but rather a bounty hunter, and has been using me to find the abolitionist hideout. Well, see, this is interesting, because now it's like, well, do you abolitionists have quests for me? I see that you were taken in by that bounty hunter. Fear not. It is not uncommon for them to come looking here. I thank you for your help and for your intentions. Here, take this. It is a small token of my gratitude. May it serve you well. Journal, journal updated to first barrier ring, which is probably garbage. Well, tell me about you, Mr. Man. I'm a farmer. Uh, Kay? Kay? Daedra? Distant priests. I'm a farmer. We're a red guard. All right, cool. Here, how about some? You are awesome. That works for me. Awesome. Coffee done. And. We did a quest. What's the ring? Let's check out the ring. First barrier ring, was it? Yeah, see, useless. 
five points for ten seconds, like. But whatever, you know, you know. Armor 141, it was 133 a second ago, but maybe I repaired some stuff? I don't know. All right, so that dude's dead. I'm a poor lost traveler. Help me find whatever. Well, here we are. Let's go, what do we got, salt rice? Cool. I wonder if that counts as stealing as well, if you're just to take that stuff. And also he grows marshmallows, so you could get uh, make potions or whatnot. All right, well, I mean, you know. What I'm going to do, wait, is this just uh yeah, I think that's just the fields of Kumu or whatever. Yeah, we just went that way. Oh, man, I saw the shadow. I was like, holy crap, is that a giant crow or something? You know? I didn't know what it was. I was very confused for a second. I just want to go this way to kind of fill in the map. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Awesome. <sighs> well, should I go back to, and Saran's actually, here's, here's what we'll do. We're, man, we're actually fairly close to Belmora. Where's my hop toad ring? Have you, uh... Wait, who are you guys? Yes, that's right. Yeah, those two. All right, so let's go to Balmora if we are... Oh, I hear a scrib. And there's a cloud racer, cliff racer. Um, I would like to... I want to see about this. Daedric Axe. If I have two, which I think I, that I do, then I'll just go to freaking Ebonheart and sell it. And then we'll also drop off the Ebony uh, Longblade. Not enough charge, eh? Oh, well. And that thing's right there, too. All right, Mr. Guar. Wild Guar. We'll just walk a little bit, recover our stamina. The ring actually helps a lot. You don't need to go, Mr. Cat. You don't need to go. Just be careful if you're gonna jump over there, okay? You worry me. One of these days I worry you're going to not land it properly. Okay, he made it good. Diseased. I am immune to all diseases from now from now on. Yes, it's not that far. It's... But I'm sure they made everything a little bit closer because of... Uh... Oh, another dreamer, huh? They're just appearing all over the place. Naked people. 
because of um yeah daggerfall everything is super spread out is my understanding so you know To what? The house first? Yeah, let's do the house. All right, what do we got? Two Daedric War Axes. A little disappointing, but uh, there you go. We'll save. Yeah, all right. Anyway. We have a ebony longsword. Ebony broadsword. Huh. It's funny because the ebony broadsword is much less weight. It's 24 compared to the 40. Well, slash is 37, slash here. Ah, chop is if you're standing still, and slash is if you're moving side to side, I think. Either way. Glass longsword. That's probably what I'd use instead. It's lighter. It's way lighter. It does less damage, of course, but it's like not that much less. And the weight is the biggest thing. All right, so let's do that. Oh yeah, merge them ring. Yeah. Do I have other crap to sell? Probably. Twenty-four. So this is what, 12 pounds? 0.2? No, 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 no. Um, four pounds? Five pounds? Something like that. You know, it's uh, it's pounds. It adds weight. Alright, let's... Uh, yeah, and we only have 29,000 gold. That's something. That's something. And how do we get to Ebonheart? What's the best way? Going to... Uh, Halao taking a ship, maybe that would probably be the fastest. Do we want to try... You flatter me with your attention, Outlander. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. If that creature visits again, I think I'll have a choice. What can I help you with? Our sugar is yours, friend. Barter. Well, she's got the gold, so... Oh, maybe we should, um... Yeah. Put those away or something. <sighs> well, there's the Daedra hearts. Let's sell those. Uh, fire salts, war hide, yep. Scales, crab meat. Oh, do we have potions that we could sell? Invisibility for seven seconds. Maybe we should sell these. Spell absorption, levitate, restore magicka, restore health. I have all these restore health potions, but we'll we'll maybe use them. We're getting closer now. Void salts, yeah. Okay, 732. Can I... Think I could do that? I'm surprised, but alright, I'll take it, you know? And we'll... Until healed is good. An honor, to be sure. Thank you. 
I don't know where to begin. Let's see. Well, I guess we save. We'll probably save. Just so we don't screw anything up. And then, uh, south to Hlaod. Then we'll take a boat to Ebonheart. We'll sell the war axe. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, hang on. I'm gonna look for... Morrowind, um... Which I see... Which I should... Morrowind... Shop gold? We'll say shop... Gold. Shop with most gold. Here we go. Trader with the most sellers gold. Steam community. Uh, okay, who gives the most money? Sell them al selling alchemy. Recommend shopping Nicalia. Weapons and armor. Market and Morn hold. Ah, that's the DLC. Go to the Warrior Guild House in Balmora. Redguard has 2,000 gold. Other arms dealers near nearby. Certain house in Caldera full of orcs. Might find someone of interest in there. A very wealthy mud crab somewhere south of Azura's coast. If you want to sell really expensive items, you will not find a trader with that much gold, though, so you have to compromise or heavily micromanage your trading. Museum in Moron Hold it will take rare artifacts for half the price. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about that. We'll, uh. The fact they mention that dude in Balmora with 2,000 gold. Makes me think that's probably what you're about what you're gonna get. So the fact that I can get, you know, the one person with uh, with thirty five hundred, that's that's huge. Are we getting attacked? Is it a cliff racer? Well, we're just going to keep running. That's really nice. Like, the stars are... The rain's starting to go away and the stars are coming out. That's great. <coughs> oh, here's Jack. Listen, mister. I can't see what I'm doing and you are in the way. And I do love you. Oh, God. This is going to hurt. Yep. I have to look at my second monitor because your huge butt is in the way. He's like right here. Okay, you. I see stuff. Listen, move, mister. And you're dragging kitty litter all over where my mouse is, are you? Is that what we're doing? Oh gosh, and then now he's nuzzling my hand. The one with the mouse. Alright, where, where am I going? Yes, Outlander. This way, maybe. Will this go to the ship? I can't even tell. I think so. All right, let's save here. Oh gosh, you are so cute. All right, Mr. Cat. Oh my gosh, you are just the cutest kitty. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you in the lap, in the lap, in the lap, in the lap. Uh, all right, that works. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. What I could probably do is... 
go there, go to Sorrel Asakis or whatever, sell that, purchase all the hammers and all the arrows and stuff they have. Back to Balmora, sell everything I can to that one. You know? It's presumably all you can do. Um, yeah. And then we'll we'll worry about it later. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, well like I said, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. As always guys, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent. Let me hear them. Do try and read all of them, assuming they're not memory hold. I do try and respond to all of them as well. What is your guys' unique puzzle moment for today? For me, I'm going to say... I mentioned in the last episode I was able to leave work early because of... You know, basically working late and, and early. Uh, and then I came home and I took a nap. So I'm going to go with the nap. That was It was nice. It was really nice to get like an hour. But, um, you know, when I used to do 24-hour shifts as an EMT, that was uh, in the military. So it's not quite the same, but getting a nap... The next day was very helpful, and it was really nice. It's it's refreshing, really. There's a reason these European countries do it. You know, they have their little siesta, and uh, you know why they have higher quality of life and higher life expectancy and less health problems and all that stuff. It's like take naps. Why not? You know. But that's uh. That's my unique puzzle moment. Hopefully you guys just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.